Hello, I'm Maria Granger. I'm a lecturer at Worcester College of Technology. This is my model, Sarah. Um, today, we're going to do a razor cut through Sarah's hair. She has um, had it cut, but she feels um, the back of her hair. Um, she hasn't got a lot of texture through, but she doesn't really want it heavily layered. So by using a razor cut, we're going to reduce some of um, the thickness of her hair and add texture going through. Um, one of the important things um, to bear in mind with a razor cut is to make sure that you um, perform this technique on wet hair. Um, you'll find if you raise a cut on um, dry hair, it will drag the hair and it will pull and it will be dis um, not very comfortable for the client. So for best results, always use wet hair. Also look for hair movements and hair growth patterns because you don't want to reduce um, any thickness of the hair or add texture where the hair isn't going to lie properly. So through your initial consultation, make sure that you find um, out if there are any hair movements, actually what the client wants and the finished results. Because a razor cut can be quite a wispy cut and if that's not really what the client's after, you may need to look at using another technique. Um, with Sarah's hair, through the consultation, she's described that her hair just doesn't seem to do anything in this area. So I'm going to concentrate um, the razor cut around the mid lengths of her hair. Okay, so make sure that your razor is nice and clean and that your blade is sharp. If it's blunt, obviously change it and make sure that you put the discarded um, blade into a sharp spin. Um, depending on whether you're right or left-handed, you can change this guard over the blade. So left-handed, I'm going to place the blade on that way. When the blade isn't in use, make sure you close it for health and safety reasons. So I'm going to start by sectioning Sarah's hair, and making sure that my sections are nice and clean and straight. Also make sure that your client's position is correct, that both of the feet are flat to the floor and that they're sat back in the chair. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that I've got all the hair okay, nice and straight. And with my razor, I'm going to use the razor along the same angle as the hairline. I'm not going to have it at a 90 degree angle. I'm going to keep the razor on the same angle as I'm holding the hair. And using the blade, run it down the actual hair shaft. And as you can see, we're taking thickness and adding texture through the sections of the hair. You must make sure that the hair is straight, otherwise you'll cut bits off that you don't really want to. And then just working down, moving the hair through. Okay, I'm going to close my blade and then take my next section. I'm going to aim it about an inch thick sections because we just want to put texture through the mid lengths of the hair. I'm not looking for any guideline, so I'm just doing it by visually looking and knowing which part of the hair needs to be razored. So again, using your razor, holding it on the same angle as the hair, and running down from the mid lengths. As you can see, I'm removing pieces of hair and then adding texture through it. OK. 
can hold the hair and the blade on the same angle and from the mid lengths working down. As Sarah's hair is quite fine in texture, um, I'm only going to raise her on the top section of her hair. Sometimes if people's hair is thick or you're trying to blend in a style, it's quite it's a good idea to use your razor underneath to blend through that way. Or if you're trying to blend through extensions rather than cutting the hair, if you pick the hair up with an extension and rather than razoring on the top, if you raise it underneath, you would tend to blend a, an extension through better. So always make sure that your sections are even and clean. Because Sarah has a shorter layer on this top section, we're not going to put use a razor technique up here because we're just aiming through the mid lengths of the hair. So on this section, I'm going to just razor through the very ends just to blend that through. Okay, and as we can see, when we look through the hair now, without actually physically cutting layers into the hair, we can see as the hair drops down, she's a lot more movement through this section of the hair. Okay, when we come to do the side sections, we need to be aware that most people's hair is a lot thinner at the sides. So we need to make sure that we don't remove as much hair. Okay, so on um, consultation, Sarah um, wanted um, a cut that was feathered onto her face, so I'm gonna use a razor technique um, to feather down the side, so when it's blow dried, it will fall softer into her face. So taking a section an inch thick around the hairline. I'm going to use my razor to cut down the hair. So make sure you've got the hair really straight and then using your razor along the front of the hair, slide it down and as you're sliding down, pull the hair back at an angle and this will remove long bits and as we can see from there we've created a cut that is feathered onto her face that isn't a blunt harsh cut and following the same section bring the next section forward and using the same technique make sure that the hair is nice and straight Just use your razor to come back. And when this is dry, we'll see that all this hair is feathered into her face. Okay. Now to bring the mid lengths of the back section into the sides. As I said, the front of the side panels in people's hair is always a lot finer. So we've already cut this section now. So I'm just going to use this section here from the mid lengths and just blend that through but just take a small bit of hair through so when that's dry that'll blend through and then we're going to repeat the same procedure on the opposite side of the hair Okay, and we 
please make sure you use your mirrors. Now to finish this style I'm going to use um, a smoothing product, uh, blow dry it with a big paddle brush and then straighten it through with straightening irons. I'll wet the product through right through to the ends. Once it's straightened through, I'm just going to add a light product through it just to pick up the razor cut. I've used a product that will give a bit of shine as well. And as you can see, we've got a lot more texture and a lot more movement running through these mid lengths of the hair and then sitting around the face where we've run the razor along the hairline. It's given a much softer effect than using your scissors. And then we have a razor cut through the mid lengths towards the ends of the hair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 